I'm JP, a music producer and stunt guitarist with Squad Car 37. And today, I'm going to demystify direct boxes and show you why I recommend this gorgeous piece of gear. It's Warm Audio's Active Direct Box. Take a look at the exquisite switches, knobular knobbetry, and sleek and rugged aluminum chassis. So what is a direct box? A DI box, or direct inject box, basically takes a high impedance unbalanced signal from an instrument cable or guitar cable and converts it into a balanced low impedance signal for an XLR cable or a microphone cable. In other words, a direct box like this one here allows you to plug your instrument directly into a mixer, recorder, or microphone preamp. A DI box can also send a clearer signal over long XLR cable runs while maintaining sonic clarity compared to a long standard guitar cable that can experience greatly reduced audio quality. In addition to performing these functions extremely well, the Warm Audio Active Direct Box's circuitry also adds a beautiful sonic richness to direct signals. In addition, this direct box allows you to record a simultaneous dry signal when miking an amp. This gives you added flexibility down the road for reamping that signal or blending it in to the original signal. Let me show you how easy it is to set up. Plug your quarter inch bass, guitar, or keyboard cable in the instrument input. Run an XLR cable from the output into the input of your audio interface, preamp, or mixer. If your guitar or bass has active electronics, select passive on the box. The pad is a nice feature to help reduce the volume of loud signals before they leave the box. The ground lift switch can help eliminate noise or hum from a ground loop, sometimes caused by introducing a direct box into a signal path. The phase invert switch can be used to make sure things aren't out of phase if you're simultaneously taking a direct signal from an instrument along with a mic'd amp signal. Let's see if we can hear the coloration added by the circuitry in the Warm Audio Direct Box. In this example, let's listen to a guitar track that was recorded directly into the interface and then a version that was recorded through the Warm Audio Direct Box. I definitely hear a difference between the two. The Warm Audio Direct Box brings a harmonic richness to the upper mids and definitely boosts the lows. It sounds great, and when it's not there, you definitely miss it. In this example, let's listen to a bass, first recorded through the interface directly, and then through the Warm Audio Direct Box. Wow, that's huge. The bottom end of the bass is much more pronounced with the Warm Audio Direct Box. Now this next guitar part, I recorded a wet, mic'd amp signal, and then also a dry signal through the Warm Audio Direct Box. Here's how I did it. Plug your guitar cable into the Warm Audio Instrument Input Jack, and run an XLR from the output of the Warm Audio Direct Box into your interface. Now, plug an instrument cable into the through on the Warm Audio Direct Box, plug that into your amplifier, use a microphone to mic your amplifier, and run the mic cable into your interface. Now you have two signals coming in simultaneously. One is the amp signal, and the other one is a clean, dry signal. Now let's add some effects to both and blend them in together and see what that sounds like. Getting that dry signal really gives you unlimited possibilities for sounds because you can reamp it or you can add effects in the box. Warm Audio offers a passive and active version of this direct box. My recommendation is to spend just a bit more and get the more versatile active version. Whether you're a professional or a home studio recording enthusiast, 
I'd highly recommend picking up the Warm Audio Active Direct Box. It'll add a beautiful warmth and coloration to your direct signals and also give you the added versatility of having a dry signal when you're recording an amp. Visit warmaudio.com to find a dealer and order yours today. Thank you.